Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and it's cast time once again. And, um, as you can tell from the thumbnail, holy shit, this one looks awesome. Um, and this is another one from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Now, normally, normally, whenever, um, whenever I, pull, whenever I have up the thumbnail from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse, typically, I play their music as well. Uh, but this is going to be one of the exceptions where I don't because... Um, at around the same time that I discovered this thumbnail, actually this, uh, this video here came out a few days ago. Um, but I, it, it re, it popped back up on my YouTube recommendations, so I, I totally completely forgot about it. So, but at, at the same time, earlier this morning, af shortly after I did my cast, um, another album also popped up in my YouTube recommendations, which I'm definitely going to be playing now, um, I think the band is called Penda, uh, playing card hallucinations, and holy shit, is this an awesome album! So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, but yeah, as is obvious, I'm gonna go ahead and play this, but not to be a dick or anything. But if it's um, if it's getting to where the music is gonna be too distracting, to where I'm just sitting there, you know, just head banging away and all that, um, I'll probably end up having to take off my headphones. And keep on talking. So, but once again, not not to be a, you know, not to be a douche or anything. If if the music gets too distracting, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the headphones off. So, I should have it set though, to where it's fairly low. You can hear it, but it's not gonna be too much in the way. But we'll we'll see as the cast goes on. And then another thing I need to get across too is uh. This is potentially going to be a very long cast, and because a lot of this was uh, hastily thrown together at the last minute, just I had a bunch of evening stuff, I had to do the grocery shopping, and then I still had to do laundry and all that, so I didn't really have time to actually sit down and get a cast together. So, but like I said, since a good chunk of this is just going to be a slam bang job, um, like I said a few moments ago, it's going to be a potentially long one. And it's gonna, it's potentially, it's gonna be a wrong one. So there might be some mistakes being made on this. So let me go ahead and get that going. Okay, so to start with, um, finally got my stream going. Stream today. So after having a having a two day break. Um, yesterday I discovered this game called Dicey Dungeons. It's, um, it's actually, up. it's part Slay the Sp or, let me back up a bit. It's what you get when Slay the Spire and Yahtzee have a baby. I think I said the same thing yesterday, too. But, yeah, um, so far, I'm liking it. Um, I completed the, um, I completed the first two episodes. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, but anyway, um, one thing I do want to do though, kind of like what I did with that with that idol game, or with the new idol game yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and um, show a show a quicky dicky gameplay demo of it just to give you guys an idea of how it works. And then, one thing I right off the bat that I definitely like about this game is um, uh, you can use. Okay, I gotta I gotta turn it down a bit from my end. Yep. Just like clockwork. At some at some point when I put this cast together, the volume in my headphones jacks up to 100. So, I'm gonna fix that. But yeah, like I was saying, um, you can play this game with both a controller and a mouse. And you can use both interchangeably. See, I just click play right there. Um, so, this is the, the warrior is the one you start out with, so I'll just go ahead and go with this, and I gotta double check something. Okay, okay, so. But like I said, 
you can use both a keyboard you can use both a, a controller and a mouse and uh, I have to I have to play all five contestants all five players and yeah so this is kind of a it's a game it's a game show themed game Use your controller to move, move around the map. And I guess this game doesn't have a. There is no new game plus with this, so you're, you're literally starting all the way over. So, look. That fight breaks out, like I said. And then for the warrior class, for this guy here, you can re-roll a dice up to three times in one turn, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Oh, and also, another nice little quirk. You tap the uh, the right analog stick up, it'll show you what your enemy can do. Like in this case here, what the what that 20 means is um he has to he has to load up 20 points. You know, with all the with all the uh, all the dice he gets, it has to add up to a total of twenty. Then he does ten damage to me. Did I get what I wanted? There we go. So I just dealt four damage to him, and because I can't do anything else, you push square to end your turn, and then. Nine total. All right, I'm gonna check the um, uh, check the music real quick. Okay, yeah, I gotta turn it up. I can hardly hear it. So anyway, so, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and re-roll. There we go. We got enough, so. And oops, I totally forgot. You can only, you can only use this once. It has to say reusable in order to use it over and over. So, because I can't do anything else, I'll end my turn. And that's going to be nine total. So, it's alright, I'll get him this time. What? But, that's the essence of the game right there. But yeah, something else I like about this game too is the artwork. I tried to explain it yesterday. I don't, I don't think I did. But, um, it's kind of that It's kind of that happy medium between um oh, 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 let me open this chest here real quick. Okay. Yeah, kind of okay. But yeah, the the artwork um it looks simple, but yet it also uh, looks doable. Whereas uh some other artists like um like Bob Ross, for example. I mean, the art he draws looks kind of simple. Looks, but uh, yet, it, uh, good luck trying to imitate it, though. Okay, and then um, I just inflicted shock on him. So what that does is it it temporarily disables one of their their equipment, but they can spend one of their dice though to uh, unshock it to make it usable. And I, and I got a steam achievement out of that, so I won on my first turn. And I got, so I got an extra dice out of that. And then every one of these levels, the trapdoor-looking thingy that brings you down. And it looks like we got a roasted marshmallow. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to title. Like I said, I just want to do this little, little quickie gameplay demo for you, but that's the basic essence of how this game works. And then let me go ahead and kill the game in the background. And then um, one other thing that I nearly forgot to say, um, those that have seen my other cast videos um, probably know that for a while, I used to say that uh, I always had problems with my uh, controller wire um, because there were times where it would it would randomly disconnect and sometimes frequently frequently disconnect. Well, and then uh, I learned recently that uh, it's not the wire that that's been giving me the problems. It's the U. It's the uh, USB ports. So. So, which was very good to know. And then, um, on top of that, and then, um, today, during the stream, um, I, totally on accident, um, I just, I use my, uh, I use my cell phone for my Twitch app, for my Twitch chat, so I have to use a special wire for my cell phone, plug it in, unplug it like that, but basically, um, I got, I have multiple, multiple wires that I use to plug into different things, like my controller and my external speaker, Oh, excuse me. Well, I got a mob, but I don't. I don't want to spend too much time explaining how this happened. But basically, on accident, I found out that uh, it's my rear USB specifically that's giving me the problems. So, what I went ahead and did is now is the uh, the wire that I use at the front of the computer. I have it plugged into my controller because I'm guessing out of those two. The two ports that I use, the front, the one on the front of my computer is the reliable one. The one on the back is the unreliable one. That's the one that cuts in and out. So, but at least this is what I discovered at this moment. I mean, I don't, when I, I'll probably talk more about it, but, uh, I wanted to experiment more on this to get a confirmation, but it didn't happen. But like I said, I'll explain more, but, but yeah, so now the port on the back of my computer is being plugged into my speaker. Since the only time I ever use that is, is going to be just to charge up my speaker, and that's it. Um, like I said, in fact, um, let me uh, go ahead and do that now. Totally forgot to do it before getting this cast going. Okay. But otherwise, um, that's that on that. That is definitely becoming my desktop background right there. So, but anyway, um, later on, I did try playing some more pinball, but uh, FX3, it crashed. So, and as I've said before on other casts, if FX3 crashes, that means uh, Pinball Arcade, the DX11 version, the one I like to use, that will also crash. So, but that leaves my only option being uh, being Zachariah Pinball. So, what I went ahead and did this time is uh, what I what I'll often do from time to time is uh, do a do a four table run on Postal 2. Uh, it's a it's a brand new set of tables that came out on uh, Zachariah, so you know, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. But uh, it's also like I said a few minutes ago too. Um, I really wanted to I really wanted to test my theory on this, um, whether uh whether it is true that my it's my my rear USB that's having the problems and not my front one. But like I said, I couldn't because I have the I have the wire connected to my controller and everything, but I only got maybe about a few minutes in. And then it and then uh FX3 crashed, so I didn't really get a chance to figure it out. Um but but the way my the way my uh at my current ranking um, I should be good to go. I think, um, 
the the new mat the new weekly matchup league it starts up at like 7 a.m tomorrow so like i said i think i'm stable enough to where i should be able to i, I should be able to stay afloat this week I gotta do something real quick. It's a bit of a technical issue. Okay. There we go. But anyway, um, but like I said, um, I went ahead and fired up some Postal 2, Postal 2 on Zachariah Pinball, um, I did, I got most, I did three, about three and a half tables. I got about halfway into, into the last table and it just, all of a sudden, I don't know what it's called, like Steam Radio or something, but uh, I fat fingered a button or combination of buttons and all of a sudden uh, it started firing up like, like one of the old, one of the old Dungeon Synth albums I used to listen to. So it. It started it up, and all of a sudden, I got Dungeon Synth music going on in the background. So, yeah, no, definitely don't want that. So I ended up having to, having to abandon the session, and had to start over with a new one, a second attempt. I think I talked more about it on the YouTube video, but yeah, I did record it, and I did upload it. So, it's up right now. Uh, but otherwise, I just um. Turn it down a bit. But yeah, I just I'll but I'll go ahead and uh for this ain't this, it's basically not an option. It's gonna be a new matchup league tomorrow, so yeah, I'll most certainly try to play. I'll try to play uh FX3 tomorrow. So And then, um, also, I'm probably not going to be spending a whole lot of time here, but, uh, um, also throughout the evening, just did some idling. Uh, got some gate, got some idle games going. Um, I talked about this yesterday, and at least, for at least two out of the three idle games, NGU Idle and Melbourne Idle, um, it seems I'm in my idle game phase. So, but yeah, I've, I've said this before, but I'm like the moon. I have my phases. So... I'm currently in my idle game phase. Uh, like I said, playing NGU, playing Melvor. In fact, uh, they've been doing some updating on, on uh, Melvor Idol. And for those that don't know, um, Melvor Idol is an idle game that's a pattern on the game RuneScape. So it, you could almost call it RuneScape Idol. Why the creator of this idle game didn't do that, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to avoid a copyright issue. Maybe, maybe he actually, maybe he actually asked the devs that made the game. Hey, can I call my idle game RuneScape Idol since that's basically what this game's all about? And they probably just gave the, probably said, no, you cannot unless you pay a licensing fee. Oh, okay, I'll just call it Melbourne Idol then. So I'm, I'm, like I said, I don't, you know, you, you just call it RuneScape Idol. I mean, close enough. So, but anyway, getting back to, the, getting back on subject. Um, but yeah, um, they've been putting out some new stuff. Um, I mean, Melbourne's got some new skills. That's some new skills that I'm, I'm, right now I'm dipping my toes in, because there's also, uh, I think there's also, uh, new, new items. Basically, there's, there's whole new content in Melbourne Idol. Uh, something happened to you two. Hold on. I gotta check something. Something might. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, that just made me a little suspicious. It just all of a sudden the music just <laughs> stopped. I mean, usually in all these, in all these uh, albums, whenever um the transition between one song to another, it gradually fades, and then the next song starts. But this one. <laughs> 
it suddenly went silent, so I thought maybe there might have been something wrong with uh, YouTube. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, like I said, whole new content in Melbourne, NGU. Um, I don't, I don't think they've updated their game in a long time. So. But, uh, and then, um, Selva Singularity, I played it briefly, but I'm kind of having a problem with it, because uh, it's, I said this yesterday, but it's both, it's kind of a double-edged sword, like, it's really graphics intensive. I mean, yeah, it look, you know, it looks, you know, it looks really cool to look at, you know, seeing planet Earth and the moon spinning around it, and, you know, the big old sun on the left side of the screen and all that, or if you want to switch screens. You know, you can see all these DNA molecules and all these different, you know, protein molecules and different molecules of shapes and sizes. Or you can you can switch screens again and you'll be taken to the bottom of the ocean floor and you get to see, like, plankton floating around and you can see fish and flatworms and whatnot and bacteria and, you know, you know stuff like that. I mean, you know, pretty visually pleasing, but on the downside, too, it's, like I said, it's it's very graphics intensive part of an idle game. So, but I I don't see me playing Cell to Singularity that much longer. You know, cuz um the the real beauty, I mean a big one of the big draws of an idle game is you can have it running in the background while you're doing other stuff. I can't really do that with uh Cell to Singularity and now that I think about it Idle Champs too. Idle Champs is another game that was like this. this despite Idle Champs being my all-time favorite idle game, it ha it suffers this uh, huge drawback. It's really graphics intensive. It's like I have to put almost all my focus focus into into this idle game, and even uh, it's especially bad when I try streaming it. Because then pretty much everything else on my computer slows down. Especially if I'm like, if I have another stream going, like if I'm trying to watch a, a podcast stream while having a Idle Champs going, my stream just slows to a crawl. So. So. But uh, I might, uh, so. Yeah, I might be putting, um, sell the singularity on the shelf. Um, and for, for those, that, for those that don't know, um, Idle Champs is also going to be on the shelf for a long time because, um, my computer, probably specifically the graphics card drivers and or the graphics card itself, um, it's having, it has, it's having trouble booting up the game. Like, um, I've said this before, but, uh, Idle Champs has a 50% chance of crashing my computer on startup like when I try to boot the game up there's a 50-50 a chance that my computer will crash and it'll do a it'll do a forced restart a forced reboot so but like I said idle chance is on the shelf still the singularity is heading that way as well but Melivore and NGU they're still going strong right now so I'll definitely be playing those two throughout the day. And this... And then this part, um, this was something that, um, I... Can't, this is something I found while putting this cast together. I'm gonna try not to spend too much time on it, but... And this is something else I like to do on some of these other cast videos. Um, for those that don't know, Jessica Wildfire, one of my favorite authors. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not an absolute fanatic fiend or anything like that for her, but she's got a lot of good stuff. But um, her latest one, the pandemic is over. Yes, I'm going to mass forever. And then, I'll go ahead and toss in my two cents. 
I used to wear my mask fairly religiously, and uh, for a time at my job, Walmart, you were required to wear your mask. And uh, I'm gonna take another drink. But um, even after uh, after Walmart said that we're no longer required to wear them, um, I pretty I pretty much stopped. I'm not I'm not anti-mask, but for the kind of lifestyle that I have, I mean I I mean I already keep my distance from people. I'm a firm believer in personal space. I I don't like just. Rushing right on up to people and go, hey, what's up, man? Or, you know, or not, you know, I don't want to get up in someone's grill, excuse me, you know, like butt in front of them and that kind of thing. And I'm, and by the same token, I fucking hate it when people do it to me. It just, you know, it just butt right in and, you know, or excuse, you know, at the very least say something like, excuse me, could I get in there, please? You know, something like that. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I'll back off. You know, but I mean, I, it's, you know, especially when I'm actually on the job, you know, stalking stuff. I mean, this this pisses me off to no end when people do this. I'll be like working away, and somebody will just just shove themselves right on in there, excuse me, you know, kind of butt in, kind of you know, kind of push me out of the way, you know, a personal space violation. So, but like like I said, kind of just trying to sketch in a little bit of context. So. I mean, like a lot of other people, um, I, I wear, I find wearing a mask to be very inconvenient, but on the other hand too, I'm not doing, you know, I'm not doing what a lot of other people are doing. I don't, I try not to violate anybody's personal space. And, um, as unsanitary as this sounds, let me check something, okay, as unsanitary as it might sound, um, when I sneeze, I actually try to aim for the floor. I try to sneeze straight into the floor. I don't try to, I try to avoid sneezing directly into my hands. But, but again, if, if you could visualize this, I find trying to sneeze facing the, facing the floor rather than sneezing straight out in the open air to be much more sanitary and much more uh, safer to the people around me than than sneezing the, in the traditional way. So, like I said, I'm already kind of, I'm kind of doing my part, to, you know, trying not to be too infectious to the people around me. So, so yeah, it for someone like me, as bold and out on the limb as it might sound, I don't, I don't need to wear the mask. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick skim on this. Um, a lot of times, usually I'll go through all the paragraphs and do commentary on them all. But this time around, especially for those that have seen my other cast videos, I've often, uh, I've often done commentary on these uh, pro mask, these uh, these pro mask art articles that she does. So, but let me, but let me go ahead and get it started. But yeah, and this, I thought I saw something like this in uh, in one of the newspapers like last week. Um, so, uh, President President Biden, the pandemic is over. Like you know, it seems like an awfully bold statement. Because I I don't have the stats with me or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure there's still a lot of people out there that are sick with COVID. Pandemic is over, <laughs> and yet he's still wearing a mask. Okay, I'm gonna. I use no script. That's why the, the whole thing looks kind of funny. But if I get an anti-ad blocker ad here, I'm just gonna kill it. Okay. Yep, the pandemic is over. Everyone, take your mask off. What is it called? It's over. Yeah, it. It's. 
See, he's already contradicted himself. If we, if we still have a problem with COVID, then no, the pandemic is not over. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Hey man, let me highlight this. It's, but the pandemic is over. I think what he's just saying is, ah, fuck it. Let me just take the mask off. Objection, yeah, from large swaths of the medical community. But I mean, it's like I said a few moments ago. Just in that, just in that one sentence alone, he already contradicted himself. Scores of experts, yeah. A couple days ago, I read a story from. Try saying that five times real fast. So, but once again, um, I don't wear a mask, but I'm most certainly not an anti-masker. But given the kind of, again, with the kind of lifestyle I have, the, the, the way I carry myself and stuff like that, um, I don't really need it as much. And then there's something else I forgot to say too. Most of the time, I'm not out during peak hours. Um, like, uh, when I, when I do my grocery shopping, I'm usually doing that in the evening when people's already, you know, going home and having dinner and stuff like that. But even then, for the times that there's a lot of people around, I'm still trying, I'm still avoiding them like the plague. We've created a story of personal choice. Uh, yeah, they're... Liberal one moment, dogmatic the next, and I need to do something real quick. God, I feel this is going to go over long, so I'm going to go ahead and loop this album. We should know better. Simultaneous, yeah. Yup. Yup. Yeah, we are a nation of smokers and drinkers. Even doctors are smoking. They even had, um, I think at one point, all the uh, cigarette ads had doctors endorsing them. Yeah, and they had doctors puffing away right on camera and stuff. I smoke Winston's, you know, that kind of thing. I've had to become my own expert. Yup. And I think, um, I think Bill Maher said something about this too. I mean, there's, you know, all these, um, all these obese people and stuff. There's, you know, stuff in their faces. They're just, and then something, then expecting like the healthcare people to somehow get them out of this jam that they, that they themselves have caused. You know, I mean, he, I think Bill Maher was saying, saying it too, and I, I kind of did as well. You still need to do your own part. You know, you can't just sit here and shovel food into your mouth like crazy and then, you know, and then, and then expect your, uh, expect your physicians to fix that problem somehow. You know, people need to take responsibility for themselves. Now, I mean, I'm no, I'm no spring chicken either, but I, those that have, uh, seen my earlier videos, yeah, I was... I went on a weight loss campaign, but when I got down to about 140 pounds, I went I went totally ape shit with the junk food for a whole week. Went on a week long junk food binge. So there's so there's there's more to it than just than just you know eating right. There's the mental aspect. But anyway, I'm kind of straying off the subject. But it. it that's what, that's what, uh, hang on, that's what the health institutions are saying, too. You gotta do your part. That's the factor in, bro. Okay, okay. They haven't stopped. We're not testing, we're not tracking. We're 
blind blind a growing number of op-ed columnists and politicians talk about okay yep Co-workers was probably was talking about this. Anyone who died from complications? Yeah, I I don't quite understand the wording, so I'll go ahead and uh. Department of Public Health. Yep, already at 36 minutes. I'm not going to read through all that. Uh. So they knocked it from 60 to 40 days. From Cooney? Never heard of that. Yep. We're creating an environment that uh, allows COVID to thrive. Um, cli excuse me, climate change, same thing. It's slowly creating an environment where uh, we're probably one of the one of the worst insects out there. Mosquitoes can uh, thrive long, thrive longer and stronger, allowing them to carry more diseases. script for this. Again, if I get an anti-ad blocker ad, I'm bailing out immediately. Uh, no. I shouldn't have to get a I shouldn't have to get a subscription just to be able to read this. trying anymore I would like to think because we're exhausted we had two years to get better we didn't so schools caved anti-maskers oh and also uh, for what it's worth I think um this this author here Jessica Wildfire and Bill Maher they um they don't see eye to eye on this They didn't upgrade their ventilation. Now they've dropped it. But like I said, I probably, I'm probably somewhere in the middle on this. You know, if you're um, you know, if you're, if you're already to, if you're already trying to be trying to avoid being too infectious to other people, then you don't you don't need masks. As much. You don't need a mask as much.
shaming and bullying parents of vulnerable children. Yep. This don't surprise me right here. They're probably considering them a big pain in the ass. This don't surprise me either. But again, it could also be due to exhaustion too. They're just sick and tired of dealing with it. So at some point, at some point they just said, fuck it. Entitled anti-masking parents who's been all. Has a history, he did this for the Iraqi invasion, he expressed caution at first. Political expediency that were returned to the up. With the pandemic, altering his stance, not because it's the right thing to do. Yup. Yup. He wants to get reelected. Um. She's going to. Yeah, she's gonna be. She's gonna be masking forever. Um, as far as me, um. I'll wear a mask as a last resort. In fact, I probably still have it in my car somewhere. But yeah, if, if for some reason I'm caught in peak hours and if there's like huge crowds of people everywhere, you know, if I'm basically having a Dodge around them like, like orange cones, then yeah, I'll probably wear it. But again, I'm most active either, either in the evening or in the morning when there's not that many people out. And once again, the aforementioned sneezing. I don't, I don't just sneeze, I don't sneeze straight into my mouth while standing upright. No, I, again, I, uh, I always try to aim my sneeze straight into the ground. So, so like I said, when I'm doing stuff like this, I don't see a need to wear a mask that much. Special energy is autistic person with mask in my entire life. That was a, hmm, I haven't thought of that. Never knew she was autistic. Unless she's talking about somebody else she knows. Been basking my entire life. I was just doing it in a figurative sense. Maybe that's what I'm doing too. See what I said a few minutes ago. Literal sense too. But also, I think I forgot to say this a few minutes ago too. If my job, Walmart, um, ever decided to go back to uh, their requiring their employees to wear a mask, I would have no problems with that. Um, but I, kind of a kind of a side note on that. Um, Back when I had to wear a mask, I wouldn't wear it if I was say, if I was say inside the inside of the dairy cooler, or if I was inside of the inside of our freezer, because that that causes my glasses to fog up, and I also have a harder time breathing, because um, because I'm I'm probably having to like do a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of manual labor, a lot of, a lot of you know a lot of tw bending and twisting, contorting. It 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 can get pretty physical in a cooler and a freezer. So yeah, for those, I have to have a mask off just so I can breathe more. You bet. You see the answer on that one? Yup. I think uh, we're at a point now. Actually, uh, I've never had this, I've never had this happen before. But um, I think I kind of said to myself, if I ever did, I think I'll, because uh, again, sometimes, uh, again, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be like inside of the, you know, inside of the dairy cooler, just on the other side of the milk where customers can see me, and they most certainly can see that I have my mask down. But if a customer was to ever say, "Sir, should you be wearing that mask?" I'll probably say, "I'd rather die from COVID." Gonna be bitched out for not wearing a mask. That 
that would probably be my answer. So, in that context there, presentation is important. You know, I, I gotta look at something. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna have to skim the rest of this. Um, I think it's been almost 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 45 minutes. This is a long o. Okay, but it looks like this is all the, all that's left. But yeah, um, the answer here, it's gonna be yes. If only, in, if only in the back of their minds, they would pro, they would probably just as soon as die from COVID than spend the rest of their lives uh, being inconvenienced. Otherwise, um, that's gonna <laughs> that that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, a 45-minute cast, so yeah, this this one was a long one, but I think I said this, I think I said this at the start. Potentially, this is gonna be a long one, so I had a fair amount to do on here, so fair amount of stuff to get off my chest. So, but but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, so. Until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.